Hey, Brighton. <clears throat> hey, Kylie. Well, I'm making this video. First one I've made to address you guys and address the situation. Um, anyway, here's me. You haven't seen me in 12, 13 years. And I haven't seen you. I have no idea what you guys look like. I did see a picture of Kylie. Uh, I think it was her on LinkedIn. Um, very beautiful. Turned out just like looks like your mom. <clears throat> anyway, but uh, I'd love to see Brighton, see how, how he's turned out. Um, anyway, so I want to show you some pictures. The thing is... Uh, making this video you know to to see if you guys can reconnect with me in a small way or a big way any kind of way um you know i'm gonna say some things you might not agree with but you guys were alienated from me for no reason at all your mom and brendan just wanted to your mom just wanted to have a little family with him uh she started calling you know, it just all began. She she wanted you guys to call him dad, change your last name to his last name. All those things that are part of parent alienation, classical, typical parent alienation is what uh, is what occurred, and it was severe. It was full on warfare from one side from your mom, and that was to uh, completely destroy our relationship, which she did. And part of the problem when they say, if you look up parent alienation, is the kids dissolve their bond with the other parent. It could be a mom or a dad. <clears throat> In this case, it was me. That the kids completely dissolve their memories, their bond, their thoughts of, of the other parent. And uh, I know that's happened. Anyways, I'm going to show you guys some pictures and then just, you know, this is all just playing it by ear. So, um, first off, here's pictures I keep on the wall over here. There's some of my favorite pictures of you guys at the house on Gelding. Anyway, they're young pictures. I just love these pictures. Like Kylie's first flower she drew at three and a half years old. There's Kylie. And this one's my favorite, one of my favorites, of course. There's Brighton wigging out. That's probably about uh, nine years old or eight years old. There he is, a little four-year-old. You guys are at Halloween, the perfect little kids. There's Kylie. That's right about the time she's nine years old, right about the time that you guys were alienated from me. Okay, I just grabbed some pictures. We got I got four giant boxes packed with pictures. It's impossible to try and go through them. You guys can go through them someday. Um so here's here's your mom and me in Brighton. Your mom's probably 19 and a half, I think. There's Daddy O. There's Brighton, little sumo wrestler. And there's your mom, so beautiful. And there we are together, skinny dad and porky mom. And here's one picture of Brighton at Christmas. Looking so great. There's the two of you. We had the we had a great little family and no different from anyone else. And everyone loved everyone. Here's a camping we used to do. Brighton ride his motorcycle, and Kylie would ride one too. And those are all your friends. Uh, they were all your same age from our neighbor across the street that moved to Fountain Valley. <clears throat> and you were in the Little League with them and stuff like that. And he coached our team, our neighbor Mike. And here we are at one of the many birthdays we had. You guys were little. We everyone was really close. There's a Brighton or the pinata. We had a pinata, everyone. There's your Aunt Kelly. There's Clayton. Clayton and JJ, Taylor. My brother's two kids. Remember, my brother died and Clayton came to live with us. <clears throat> There's Brighton cruising along, all decked out. He's probably four years old right there. 
because that's a 50, and I bought him a 90 and an 80. There he is out there, so little. Um, let's see, some more of the camping. We had great times out there. We went so many times. There's Paul. His son got killed at 14, Danny. He was one of the older kids. He got hit by a car over in uh, yeah, Huntington Beach. It's just awful. I wrote you guys a letter and told you about it. <clears throat> Here is Daddy with the two lovely ch children. Another picture. This little thing, Brighton ran the wheels off of. He would haul ass. Yeah, look at him. Crazy guy drooling. He's a maniac. Put stuff in the little seat, lift up. He would just rip down the hallway at lightning speed and just smash right into the wall at the end of the hallway and just he just beat the hell out of that little thing for like three years i just remember it and uh, he would scoot around on it sitting on it like that and then got to the point where it's boring so he'd get behind it and push it like a shopping cart and just rip around it was pretty entertaining a lot of fun uh here's just typical stuff we'd always go and pick out a Christmas tree every year. Probably mommy taking a picture there. Here's little Kylie, probably at her first birthday party over at the park. Of course, all the relatives would be there. Juvie and Ferdy and your grandma. Yeah, you guys are really young. Oh, this was fun. We went to uh, out to the beach at 2 o'clock in the morning and uh, it's Kylie playing with Dad. And I got Grunion. Here's Brighton. He had to walk around this door and look inside and goes, hmm. Because <laughs> you could just, it was a door standing alone. And you could walk around both sides of it. He had to walk around the other side and open it. It's funny. Here you guys are in the jacuzzi with Taylor and Clayton. Here's the proud daughter. Little genius daughter. Yeah, this is probably a birthday. This is preschool over at Grace Lutheran. There's Brighton on his bike. He's really young there. He's preschool. He's probably four. Did really well to ride a bike so young with no training wheels. Jade, your sister, just now started at uh, seven, you know, when she first turned seven. She's seven and a half now. Um, it's Christmas. Here's the Grunion. <laughs> That was so fun. Then we took him to your grandpa, and I don't know what he did with him. Probably threw him away. Well, he probably ate him. This thing, this swing saved our life because Brighton was a crying baby. Not like Kylie. Kylie didn't cry so much. But Brighton was cried a lot. And this thing, you set him in this thing and started going back and forth. Tick, 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 tick. And eventually he'd calm down and go to sleep. This thing, we used that many times. Here's the two actors. I don't want to take a picture with Daddy. It's so awful. And then there's more. You guys decorating the tree. I let you guys decorate the tree however you wanted to. Whether it came out good or bad. Probably drove your mom nuts. Little picture. Look how young Daddy O is. In Brighton. Kind of a bald guy. Looks like Grandpa. You guys are out in front on the street. That's probably Taylor behind you. One of the birthdays. I remember that clown. He was kind of creepy. Here we are. We went on a vacation. You guys are like 8 and 9 or 9 and 10. This is when after you and your mom and I broke up. And uh, she insisted that we go on a vacation to Florida to Disney World. So we went there. I think this is where this is at. There's a Still got the wedding ring on. This is on the kitchen table there at our house. Here's that. There's your mom. Here's a picture of everybody. There's your grandpa. And uh, Aunt Kelly, all the kids. There's Brighton in the front and Kylie and Daddy right there in the middle. And your sister or your cousin Jessica and Jasmine, there's my sister Louise, died of alcoholism. She's kind of hiding her face there because that was about the time she was almost... Uh, 
she was almost gone there. There's Brighton. Getting down eye to eye. There's the little handsome kid. Here's a little crazy Kylie. Your little sister Jade loves to have fun like that. There's Brighton at our gelding house. House that was on Gelding Street. There's the two kids, freshly groomed. Little toddlers, not toddlers, but young. <laughs> it's Kylie. All excited. Here's your great grandpa and grandma Millie. To Brighton from Great Grandpa Millie Bachelor 2000. Just a picture of them. There's Candy from a pinata. Both so happy. We had in that backyard, I don't know if you remember Brighton, but uh, we had the, the giant trampoline, the tree house, and next to the tree house was a giant trampoline, and then the pool that was 24 feet long and 12 feet wide. You guys would run across that trampoline, jump onto the boogie board, and Brighton would skim all the way across that pool, all the way to the other end. It was so fun. That was right before you guys, uh, you know, you know, got alienated from me. Um, and you'd some, you'd jump out of the treehouse and bounce on the trampoline. That was a lot of fun. There's the little terror right there. A lot of fun. Um, there's also, let's see, let me see, here's, uh, here's this book that your mom made that I have. You guys can have it someday. It's kind of dusty and dirty. It needs to be fixed up, but it's got, let me see here, it's got tons of pictures, or not tons, but it's got a bunch of pictures of you guys in it growing up. It's a great little uh, book. There's your mom with you guys. There's Fergie and Lisa. Brighton. There's your great grandma. She died about she we went up to see her because she had cancer so she died about four months after that. It's sad. A lot of people have died in my family. Your grandma's gone, my dad's gone, your grandpa. And there we are there. Your mom is always so beautiful, as you know. There's Daddy-O. A lot younger then. There you guys are. There you are in the backyard. This is all when you're pretty. Anyway, this this is a pretty cool book. There's your mom. I can't handle these kids. Look at them. <clears throat> but anyway, we had a very normal, uh, typical, a lot of pictures of your mom. There's some of me with the kids. It's you guys. You guys were really young. It's juvie. Your mom really got the looks. And other kids in her family, every other kid in her family just didn't uh, get the looks she did. Your mom was really beautiful. I'm sure she still is. And uh, there's, uh, it's just, anyway, so there's this book. That uh, sort of a keepsake your mom made. It's pretty nice. It's just been sitting here. Let's see what else we have. Baby pictures. Uh, it's Kylie. Um, I got tons of cards that I kept over the years from, most of them are from your grandpa, or from my grandpa. This one, and I just picked out some of them that are not none of the ones from Grandpa, but here's some that I kept just, you know, stuck with the ones. So, I love you, Mommy. This one's from, I love you, I oh, love Kylie. So, this is from Kylie, probably about, who knows when, four years old or something. 
Dear Kylie, here are the Indian signs. The fl oh, this is from me when I went up to visit Grandpa. Just a card from Brighton Bachelor. Mom, I plan to send you an exotic cruise for your birthday. Happy birthday. Are you on your the greatest? The greatest mom in the world. Love mom from Brighton. That's cool. Uh, let's see. What else is there? There's one in here. There's a couple in here that are pretty cool. Happy Father's Day to Daddy. Which is me. To Daddy from Brighton. Oh, you open up the clouds. You open up the clouds and there's the sun. Nice. Good one, Brighton. I love you, Daddy. Because, because, you are special to me and because you too care of me. You love Kylie. Oh, that's from Kylie. Daddy and Kylie. Yes, and this is this one from Brighton. Oh, that's why this one's created with the clouds, because it's from Kylie. Dear Daddy, I love you because you are special and nice. And there we are. Brighton likes McDonald's. And here's another one. Blah, blah, blah. Brighton's first birthday. What is this? It's probably from your mom to you. Ooh. Here's one from Brighton. You guys can pause the video. I'm not going to read it to you. Or no, from your mom to Brighton's first birthday. Oh my goodness. You guys can pause the video and read this. Uh, I'll put it right there. Your mom looks perfect. Beautiful writing. Your mom uh, is very sent. You know, was pretty... Pretty, uh, pretty loving, very loving. And then, uh, of course, what she did to alienate you guys was the opposite, you know. It's, she was just destined to do that. Love Dad from Brighton, Dad's Day, 2002. Anyway. Mommy Kylie, from Mommy to Kylie. Happy birthday, Kylie. Oh, here's a, here's a note. Dearest Kylie, today you are turning eight years old. I can't believe it. It seems like just yesterday that you were a little baby. Now you are a second grader. I've always said that you tell everybody that you were the best baby. That's what I was telling you. She didn't cry nearly as much. After Brighton, anybody would be better. <laughs> he cried really a lot. You are just the best daughter and any other could ever have. I just feel lucky to have you as my daughter. The most special, beautiful, funniest, smartest girl ever. Yeah, you like to have fun, Kylie, um, which is how Jade is. Yeah, you guys would have a good time together. Jade loves to kind of have fun and be creative, and she's got a uh, fun personality. Here's some more cards. One to to me. I love you, Mommy and Daddy. I love you. From Kylie. See, you guys loved me at one time equally as Mommy, which is the way it's supposed to be. You guys depended on us for everything. We were who you are. We were your ego. We were everything. Happy birthday, Mom. Something in here is one from me, Father's Day. Um, anyway, here's this one that I passed right by, but this is one from your mom to me. Um, Chris, I love you for all that, it's Father's Day 2000, for all that you are. You are the greatest and most loving daddy, husband. You'll 
you'll not only won my heart, but the hearts of my family as well. Yeah, her family loved me an awful lot. Uh, they reminded me how lucky I am to have you. Certain, I certainly agree. Love you with all my heart. Six and a half years together and growing stronger every day. You have been a more understanding, reasonable person than I could ever imagine. Thank you for all your support. I love you so much to the moon and beyond, as, bright, uh, as the kids would say. Father's Day to the greatest daddy. You know, being understanding and reasonable was about it was pretty much the trademark of me. That's kind of what you, anyone could always say about me. And so when you guys got alienated from me, it was pretty hard to paint me as a bad person. But, of course, the Brighton and her did pretty badly. Or pretty effectively made me look horrible. Um, there's another one in here that's kind of funny. This one. Happy birthday, Daddy. Let's see something there. Well, you're just blah blah blah. There's another one in here. It's funny. Your mom forgot my birthday. Cause you're the excellent. Love you, Chris. You're the mommy. Here's one, what does it say? Love, Chris, because you're the excellent, blah, 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 mommy for, what does it say? Mommy for giving me everything. Thank you, mommy, for giving me everything. I need to be happy and healthy and all that tons of love. That was from Brighton and Kylie. I wrote that for him. But there's one in here where she forgot my birthday and it's funny and then she signs it, your rotten wife. <laughs> it's funny. Anyway, um, so I'm making this video to ask you guys to make an effort to get reconnected with me. Um, the alienation was, you know, it happened. Let's not deny it. I mean, it was awful. Um, so what I've learned is that you guys kind of get erased in your mind as being kids that were alienated about the other parent. So that's why I showed you some pictures and reminded you. But for me, I, my, I've never erased you in my mind. I've never, you know, my kids were taken away from me, if you look at it from my point of view. And uh, I, my relationship was never erased. I, I still love you and... You know, it's uh, pretty traumatic. That's why people, it's very unusual for this to happen in a family, you know, to have the kids taken away from one parent. And it's been devastating to me. I've aged, I'm sure I've, I've aged a lot. And I think it's, uh, I think that's probably the main reason. Um, but anyway, um, this is three days before Christmas. I'll send this to you after I make the video, but... You know, this is making this a video to appeal to you to, you know, to say something to me, just anything, you know, say three words, say something, just respond in some sort of way. <clears throat> I mean, I don't want to talk about all the bad things about it, but it's, I think it would be healthy for you guys. I mean, you, me and your mom were your foundation. And when your mom, uh, within three weeks, 30 days, you guys were completely alienated against me. And uh, your mom didn't pull out any stops. Every single thing she uh, was uh, was frowned upon to turn you basically against me. Um, and you guys did it right away. Brighton was threatening, when I turn 13, I'm going to beat you up, Daddy. And, you know, we're sitting there eating dinner. And I'm like, well, why would you say that out of the blue, Brighton? Because I am, you know, blah, blah, blah. You know, it was... Uh, <clears throat> It was, it was horrible. You guys would say, if you really loved us, you would, you would let us stay with mommy full time. And I would say, well, I do love you. That's why I want to keep you visiting me, you know, and, instead of not seeing you anymore. And you say, no, that's not true. And I go, well, it is true, Brighton. Mommy's just confused about things because I'd never badmouth your mom during the whole time that this was going on. 
that was probably a mistake. I probably should have, but I never did. And, you know, and Brighton would say, well, it's true because Brendan said it was true. You know, so Brendan was, Brendan was out in front with this whole thing too. Everything I said and did, <clears throat> they, if you look up parent alienation, everything in there is what your mom did classically. Had the cops come to the house to do a well check on you, the house, you know, when you're when you're there with your dad, you know, the house you were born and raised in. And then you guys who were, because your mom was constantly drilling it into your head that you're not safe with me, that I don't take care of you, that the house is dirty, that all kinds of things that every time you go there, she's at home and she cries at home when you're there. And that I, you know, was a bad person to her and I was horrible and, and hurt her and all these things. And, you know, just a barrage constantly. I mean, I, I came into the room one time and Kylie was on the phone with her. All this happened within a month. <clears throat> And I could hear her saying, you have to keep asking your dad that you want to go home, that you don't feel safe there. And when he says no, you have to make your voice louder than his. And you have to you have to just not stop and be, you know, and I could hear her saying this while Kylie was looking at me. And, uh, and poor Kylie, I mean, you know. And so I just, I took the phone from her and I said, Lorraine, you've got to stop doing it. Your mom just started screaming at, screaming at me. And I, you know, and so I hung up the phone, but, uh, you know, the house was in her name. I put it in her name because we were a family. She was a hundred percent trusted. And so I wanted to be, she could take the house from me at any time, you know, it's hundreds of thousands of dollars in equity. And, uh, which is, uh, you know, what happened, but, but, uh, so I was going out of my way to be nice and cause I didn't want them to take the house. It's where I lived. It's, I spent my life there. I, 15 years. I fixed up that house and I paid the payments on the house until the day that I left, even though I knew I was getting kicked out because I never wanted them to say that I didn't pay bills or that I didn't pay, you know? So if I was staying there, I just paid, I just paid the mortgage. Um, anyway, I don't want to go into so much detail, make this video last forever. Um, but, uh, there's so many instances I could explain. I mean, your mom didn't, you guys would come to me and say, you're using the wrong soap that we wash our hands with. It doesn't smell good. You pick out the wrong clothes. And so I'd let you guys pick out your clothes and then you guys would go over there and you wouldn't come back with the clothes you had. And then I would run out of clothes and, uh, you know, your mom just, just was relentless and, uh, turning you guys against me. So, <clears throat> What happens is when the when both of us are the foundation that you guys stand on, that everything we are, everything you are is what we are, how you're perceived in public and how we act. You're supposed to be, as a parent, act as uh, you want your the best you know way you can act towards other people and to be the person that you want your kids to grow up to be. So... Uh, so, so when your mom started saying, oh, your father is, we don't, we don't, is bad person. You're not, I don't, you know, you're either with me or to be against him or you're with him. I mean, your mom shut me out of the family completely. I was completely, uh, forbidden. I was the enemy in every possible way. And if you guys were to even mentioned that you wanted to be with me at all, you became the enemy or you would have been. You're either with us or against us was the way that you guys felt. And to have me th thrown out of her, uh, you know, you guys knew that I loved you because I always said that I loved you. <clears throat> and that I never went against mommy during this time when she was alienating you. I never badmouthed your mom because I didn't, because it was harmful to you guys to hear your, you know, your own, because what, it, you know, when you hear bad things about your parents, it, it's bad things about you, you know. We're the foundation that you stand on, you know. You depend on us for your food, for your air, you breathe, everything. And uh, so, you know, I just took it. And, uh, you know, Brighton already, I'm pretty sure you know, has just a personality where he has, you know, a little depression like I did. 
And during this time, one time I came in his room and he was just laying on his bed after I picked you guys up with a tear down his eye. And I go, Brighton, what are you, what is wrong? He's going, Daddy, there's dirt on the on the baseboard. And I go, where? There's no dirt because your mom always said the house was dirty. And I go, it's okay, Brighton. We'll clean it off. Don't worry. Well, I'll I'll clean it. And there was hardly there wasn't any there was a slight bit of dust on top of like there is on every baseboard on the top of it. And he was just, you guys went through a lot of pain. You probably don't remember it anyway. For those reasons, it's going to be good for you to reestablish a relationship with me in some sort of way. At least stop hating me or at least, you know, it's going to be hard because I've been erased from you. But it's going to be the right thing to do. To You guys want to live your life. You want to, it had bad effects on you. You know, it's going to have to hurt your self-esteem because you know that half of who you are is me and that I'm a horrible, bad person. So half of what you are is horrible and bad. So you need to really, you know, I think you need to really right those wrongs, you know, to a little bit of degree. Your mom, now that you're older and independent, that's why I'm making this at this point in time, because you are got some independence. If I would have asked you guys to come back in my life when you when you were 18 or 19 or 20 you're still too dependent on your mom at that time you're still but now you're you're I just picked this time that you're got enough independence especially Kylie with going to college and everything and and uh, graduating and uh, she's more you know more developed her independence than Brighton's probably still living at home Anyway, so that's why I chose this time to, you know, try and and get you guys to, you know, just say hi, say three words to me, um, say something, say, we'll think about it, think, say, uh, Merry Christmas, we'll let you know, or, you know, or, or, you know, sorry, don't contact us again. I mean, please say something one way or the other. Um, so that's, uh, you know, that's what this video is about. I'm going to send another video of, of, of me and Jade in the car because it's kind of funny. Yeah, she's a lot like Kylie. She likes to play around. She's, she's fun. Um, I mean, that's all I can say. Um, you know, I still live in this house, been here like 10 years now. Well, I just tried to buy this house from the owner. He wanted a million. I I couldn't. I didn't want to pay that much. Not worth that much. So I might be moving. Um, but uh, and I might need a real estate agent. So so I'm kind of looking for a house. I do, 